Good morning, children. Let us begin with Standard Six English Unit Eight, a game of chance, question answers, and other exercises. Meaning, there is only one meaning in this lesson. The it is a trifle, an object of little value. I repeat, a trifle, an object of little value. Answer the following. Question one: Why do you think Rashid's uncle asked him not to buy anything in his absence? Your answer one is: Uncle warned Rashid not to buy anything in his absence because the shopkeepers could cheat him and take away his money. I repeat. Uncle warned Rashid not to buy anything in his absence because the shopkeepers could cheat him and take away his money. Question two: Why was the shop called Lucky Shop? Answer two: The shop was named Lucky Shop so as to tempt the people to try their luck and win. prizes i repeat the shop was named lucky shop so as to tempt the people to try their luck and win prizes question 3 an old man won a clock and sold it back to the shopkeeper how much money did he make answer 3 the old man made 15 rupees by selling the clock back to the shopkeeper i repeat the old man made 15 rupees by selling the clock back to the shopkeeper question 4 how many prizes this did the boy win what were they answer 4 the boy won four prizes they were a comb a fountain pen a wrist watch and a table lamp i repeat the boy won four prizes they were a comb a fountain pen a wrist watch and a table lamp question 5 why was rashid upset answer 5 rashid was upset because he thought he was unlucky at the game of chance i repeat Rashid was upset because he thought he was unlucky at the game of chance. Question 6. In what way did the shopkeeper make a fool of Rashid? Answer 6. The shopkeeper gave Rashid things of small value. He encouraged the boy to try his luck again and again and in this way Innocent Rashid lost all his money. I repeat, the shopkeeper gave Rashid things of small value. He encouraged the boy to try his luck again and again, and in this way, innocent Rashid lost all his money. Now we need to complete the following sentences from the memory choosing a phrase from those given in the brackets so the phrases and options are given to us and we have to choose and tick the correct option and write it in the blank so your first one is dash was held at a time of eid festival so your options are a big show a big fair a big competition so your correct answer is a big fair second tradesmen came to the village with all kinds of goods dash to display to buy to sell so your correct answer is to sell the third blank uncle told me dash while he was away and your options are not to buy anything not to go anywhere not to talk to anyone 
so your correct option is not to buy anything fourth the owner of the lucky shop wanted everybody present dash and your options are to play the game to win a prize to try their luck so your correct answer is to try their luck fifth the first time i took a chance i got dash a bottle of ink two pencils a trifle so correct your answer is two pencils and the sixth one uncle told me that the shopkeeper had made dash your options a fool of me a good profit friends with many people so your correct answer is a fool of me the next exercise is the words given against the sentences below can be used both as a noun and as verbs so we have to use that word appropriately in the blanks so the first one the first sentence the two teams have dash three matches already and the word and the word that given to us in the bracket is play so now this play it can be used as a verb also and in it can be used as a noun so here it is used as a verb and we write played have played p l a y e d and in the same sentence the second way we use it as a noun and the sentence is the last days play was excellent here the verb is was so here play is used as a noun so this verb it is used in both the ways in one sentence it is used as a verb and in the other sentence it is used as a noun your second sentence she has a lovely dash and in the bracket the verb is given face so here it is used as a noun so we write only face and second india dash a number of problems these days so here it will be faced your third sentence he made his dash in essay writing and the word given to in the bracket is mark so here we write it as mark this is a noun and in the next sentence articles marked sold are reserved the fourth sentence the police are combing the area to catch the bugglers and the next an ordinary plastic comb cost 5 rupees the fifth sentence he gave a dash in answer to my question and in the bracket it is given smile so here we write smile in the blank and in the next we also dash to see him so here it will come smiled here it is used as a verb the sixth one he said he dash to be invited to the party and in the bracket it is given hope so here we have to write hoped and the next we gave a dash of his joining the party so here it will come hope the seventh sentence the boys put up a good athletic dash and in the bracket it is given show so here we need to write show here it is as a noun and the second the soldiers showed great courage in saving people from floods so here showed is the verb and in your eighth sentence you deserve a dash on the back for your good performance and in the bracket it is given pat so here we will have to write only pat here it is used as a noun and next the teacher patted the child on the cheek to encourage her so here patted is used as a verb and we need to write double t e d now in this exercise notice the use of there in the following sentences there was a big crowd at the fair there were many things i'd have liked to buy now we need to write the following sentences using there in the beginning now look at this example 
Your first is I can do nothing to help you. Now we need to begin this sentence with there. So how do we write? There is nothing I can do to help you. So we begin with there and we arrange the words in the sentence and we keep the meaning of that sentence same and we uh, begin with there. One more example. A man at the door is asking to see you. So now we begin with there. There is a man at the door asking to see you. So we begin with there and we arrange the words in the same uh, so that the meaning of the sentence does not change. So now there are few more uh, sentences which we have to uh, write with beginning with there. So come on, let us do these sentences. Your first sentence. This park has beautiful roses. So we begin with there and we write, there is a park with beautiful roses. Your second sentence. Your story has no fun in it. And your answer would be, uh, and begin with there. There is no fun in your story. The third one. We have no secrets between us. And then your answer would be, there are no secrets between us. Your fourth sentence. My village has two primary schools. And your sentence is when we begin with there. There are two primary schools in my village. The fifth one. This problem can be solved in two ways. And your answer will be. There are two ways to solve this problem. Now we need to fill in the blank in the paragraph below with the words from the given box. And the words that are given to us are huge, big, foolish, interesting, tiny, unlucky, last. So now let us complete all the blanks. There was a huge Eid fair in our village. We could buy anything from a tiny toy to a big camel. I went to the fair on its last day with uncle and bhaiya. We went to the lucky shop. It was very interesting. I tried my luck but did not win any prize. Later, uncle told me that I was more foolish than unlucky. Now some words are given below. When we listen carefully to those words from the list, we find out that the pronunciation of these words are same. But the meaning of both the words are different. Do you remember what we call them? Correct, we call them homophones. So come on now, let us uh, do these homophones. Your first one is fair, F-A-I-R. So the same pronunciation word and the meaning different is fair, F-A-R-E. That is uh, the rent that we pay for something to travel. Second, buy, B-U-Y is to kharidna. And be by buy is to say buy to someone. Third one, O N E one, and W O N one is to win, which is in the past tense. One, W H I C H, which, and W I T C H, which. Then the next two, T W O two in number, and sometimes we write T O two or T double O two. Both are correct. And next is no, N-O, something negative answer. And the next homophone to it is K-N-O-W, something that you know. H-E-R-E, year, and H-E-A-R, year, to listen. Next, C, S-E-E, -E. and same will be S-E-A-C. 
धेर टी एच ई आर ई एंड धेर टी एच ई आई आर एच ए आर ई हेर अ रैबिट अ टाइप ऑफ अ रैबिट एंड एच ए आई आर योर हेर एंड द लास्ट वन नन एन यू एन नन एंड द होमोफोन इज एच एन ओ एन ई नन so dear children i hope you have understood so now your homework is that you need to write uh, all these question answers very neatly and other exercises in your english uh, notebook so thank you and have a nice day